Hello, welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video from here in my cellar. I thought I would come down here to do a bit of filming, first of all because it's a grim day out there and I don't particularly want to be outside for a change, but also I've just taken delivery from a, uh, I think a new wine merchant for me, a Worcester based wine merchant called Everton's. I found them via Wine Searcher, as always I was just doing a bit of trawling around seeing if there are any bargains to be had, and it seems Everton's, I think partly, I don't know if it's related, they're in the process of upgrading their website. For some reason that means that they've got a load of old cases that they want to clear out. There are some, I think, absolute bargains to be had. I was looking for a, a Vaughan Romanet. It's been a while since I've had a Vaughan Romanet, so I was looking primarily to see if there are any bargain Vaughan Romanets out there. And remembering that, you know, for context, Vaughan Romanet is, I think, probably the single most expensive village in Burgundy for just general village level wine, even if you ignore Domaine de la Romanie Conti, the stratospheric expensive producer of £3,000 a bottle plus type bottles. Everything else, I think there is a sort of trickle down effect and everything else from Vaughan Romanet, that village tends to be really expensive. So it's really hard to find even the most basic village level Vaughan Romanet bottle for under sort of 70, 80 quid. And those are usually starting prices from just about any producer. So when I found that there was a 2019 vintage, I think it is as well, for an absolute bargain price of just a tad over £38, the sale price came in at. 2019 is a vintage that I enjoy from Burgundy, uh, relatively recent, but it's uh, it's been doing quite good things. I also found they had a Gevrey Chambertin. 2018, not a vintage I'm quite so excited about, but it was £35, £35.88, also an absolute bargain. You know, I generally expect Gevrey Chambertin start, prices to start at sort of 60 quid. 50 is usually a good deal. £35.88, an absolute steal, even though, like I say, 2018 is maybe not my favourite vintage. And then a couple of Nuit Saint Georges, both under 30 quid. I'm going to try the probably the one that I'm least excited about today, which is the 2018 that came in at £24.47. I don't know if this filming setup is working. I've got just a, a wine box stood on its end to prop the wines upon. Um, the camera is too far away for me to look at the screen and see if the labels are particularly visible. So apologies if just, you're just seeing a white blob on screen. Uh, I'm terrible at this, aren't I? So this is a 2018, like I say, not my favourite vintage, Nuit Saint-Georges from a producer called Henri et Gilles Murriquet. Mur Mur it sounds a bit like Jim Murriquet. 25 quid, uh, Nuit Saint Georges. I think an absolute bargain. I will take it, even if it's a vintage I'm not particularly excited about. Nuit Saint Georges usually comes in a bit cheaper than Gevrey Chambertin and Vaughan Romanet. I, I don't know, it's not impossible to find decent bottles of village level Nuit Saint Georges for sort of 40 quid plus if you uh, if you search around a little bit. Let's open this up. My, my cellar is never usually a great environment in which to taste wine. It's just, I don't know, there's something about this sort of enclosed space, the sort of mustiness and all the weird background aromas, all the funk that's going on down here. Obviously, these offers are all going to be very short lived from Everton's. Maybe that's even some of the individual bottles I mentioned just now are already sold out. They, they were down to sort of single digit numbers of some of these in their bin end sale. Hopefully there is still, by the time you watch this, uh, if you watch it within a day or so of it being published, hopefully there is still something available from them. Uh, a decent part of Burgundy that you might be interested in, or some other, I mean, they, they don't just cover Burgundy. All sorts of wine regions they're doing, I think some really good prices on. That said, I haven't tried any of these wines before. I don't know these producers. Might just be <laughs> Natal Plunk <laughs> with a fancy name. Getting something that sort of black currenty, plummy sort of area. I would say that's a dark coloured wine. <laughs> the lighting's so challenging down here that it's hard to tell. I'm guessing this is going to have a relatively dark colour given that kind of... The two things often seem to go hand in hand, those kind of plummy, black currenty sort of aromas and darker coloured burgundies. A little bit of a floral whiff there now. Something possibly like a sort of faint hint of violet. So this is all quite a good start. On the palette, decent level of acidity especially for 2018, where that's always something that I worry about, that it's going to lack acidity, that that, that was a, a hot year. Finish is a bit short. It's sort of, there it is and now it's gone. Very subtle tannin. Now actually, maybe, maybe not completely subtle. A little bit of tannic influence, a bit sort of peppery towards the end. It's okay, it's, um, it's quite dry. I do like the nose. Would like a little bit more concentration on the palate, I think. But that's certainly pretty drinkable and um, at that price level I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah so not a bad start. I'm particularly excited to see what the uh, the Vaughan Romanet turns out like. Watch this space. Cheers. 